I'm back. <laughs> What's up, you guys, and welcome back to another video. I know it's been so long. Your girl has been MIA, but I was a little butthurt because I'm like, none of y'all have checked up on me. And I think it's because a lot of you guys don't follow me on my other social media handles. So if you are not following me on Instagram or TikTok, I always leave my social media handles in the description box. So definitely make sure that you are following me because I was like, your girl been MIA for at least two weeks. And none of my girls have reached out, but maybe you guys knew that I was doing okay. I don't know, but I've been good, you guys. I've kind of been taking like a reset. Like I said, you know, life is life. <laughs> That's all I can say. And one minute you could be doing this or thinking your life is headed this way and then some a curveball comes in and not to say it's anything bad, but just that, you know, life is forever changing. God definitely has put his hand on my life and has just opened my eyes to a lot of things for the better. So not gonna make this into that type of video, but I do wanna say all is well and your girl is back, okay? And I'm back for good. I had my little break. I went to New York, just got back from New York, probably, um, a couple days ago, I spent three days there. Love, love, love New York down. Did some good shopping. Of course, you guys know that I'm going to have a good haul for you guys because I did stop into Sephora in New York and the Sephora here in California. And of course, Tree Hut has came out with a whole bunch of amazing new fall scents. So I did grab a couple of those. So we are definitely going to get into all of that. So... I'm going to title this video new hot fall must haves because I definitely think all this stuff that I have purchased over the last couple of weeks is definitely some good items that you girls are going to need for the fall. So if you are interested in seeing these things, keep watching. It's not a lot. I'm like, child, I thought I had got more than what I got but you know your girl's trying to slow down because i have so much body care you guys it's ridiculous so i definitely am like thinking more through my purchases instead of just picking stuff up and buying it i really want to make sure that it's something that i'm going to use because i have a lot of stuff you guys and i'm even thinking about doing a giveaway because i am almost at 5k you guys and it has been a struggle and i think if I want to be honest, that's kind of why I took a step back and paused on creating content on YouTube because I'm like, your girl is putting in work. Like I almost have 400 videos up on this channel and I feel like I'm moving at a snail pace. But you guys, when you keep your faith in God, it's all in God's timing. And I had to remind myself and really pray and get into the word because your girl was struggling with the fact of why is my channel moving so slow but I'm over it so anyway of course you guys you know that I'm in love with Sol de Janeiro that is my boo and the first item that I'm going to show you guys I was like hold up you telling me that this scent done been out forever and I have overlooked it and have not even smelled it I don't think and what's funny is when I was in the Sephora in New York, I was just standing at the Sol de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro area because if you guys don't know, I'll leave it here. They have a new scent that's called After Hours and um, it was sold out. It's sold out everywhere, you guys. I cannot get it in the store. So I'm just standing there just praying that it's just going to appear. <laughs> and this girl walks in front and she picks up this cream and I'm like, hold on, that looks like a new scent that I've never heard of. And um, I kind of got confused and I'll explain it because I thought the cream and the spray that I have here are a set, but they're completely different from each other. But I'm gonna show you guys the cream that she picked up and I immediately had to pick it up because I'm like, I've never seen this. 
and that is the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. So I did get a mini. I always like to get small sizes just to make sure that I'm going to like it because you know, you could smell something in the store, get it home, it doesn't mix with your body chemistry, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, please let me know you guys if this is new because I'm not even sure, but this is infused with renewing fruit AHAs and vitamin C. You know I love me some vitamin C. I tell you guys vitamin C is everything for bright even skin tone. And it says, whew, I'm talking too fast, you guys. It says, retexturizing body cream nourishes. So I don't even think I really smelled this one because when I picked this up, I thought this was the same exact scent, scent as the spray I'm about to show you guys, but let's smell it. Ooh, this definitely smells nice and sweet and I definitely get a vanilla scent in this cream. And I'm just gonna put a little on my hands cause they ashy. Oh yeah, this, this is a very nice, it's like a sultry vanilla scent. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So this definitely smells great. Now I'm almost, oh, you guys, I am so slow. So it is a set. Okay, so this is number 40. So we can get back to what I was saying. So I have never smelled 40, you guys, until I went into this Sephora in New York. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had to stand there for a minute because I was like, I thought I had Sol de Janeiro down pat of my face. You guys know that I love Rio Radiance. I love, um, oh shoot, what is it? I think it's 71, the one that's really, really sweet and caramelly that comes in like the yellow, um, dark yellow container. I thought that those would be my favorites, but number 40, that's that girl. Oh, it just smells so, so, so good, you guys. So anyway, I was so in love that I went ahead and got the big number 40. And let me tell you guys, this is great for the fall. It just has a very sweet but sultry adult scent. Oh, and let me see if the notes are on here. Okay, good. So the fragrance notes, the top is black amber plum, um, creme de cassis. Your, the mid note is jasmine blooms. Definitely smell the jasmine blooms, Brazilian orchid, and the dry down, which I knew is vanilla woods and warm musk, which gives that sultry, sexy scent. And I love it. It says a paradise rich celebration spark with notes of black amber plum vanilla woods and jasmine blooms glamorous and luxurious and y'all this is everything and the big one is a hair and body fragrance mist which i love because if i'm like out and about all day and i feel like i smell like outside or something i can literally just spray this all over and this is my favorite i'm sorry rio radiance <laughs> i'm so sorry because if you guys have not, I'll leave it here. But I did do a whole video of like, it was just dedicated all to Sol de Janeiro and my favorites. But 40 is that girl, okay? And what I love about Sol de Janeiro is they're so inexpensive. Like I got this big bottle for like maybe 30 bucks at the most. So, and this will definitely last me because the little ones last me. So, love it. Okay, so speaking of Sol de Janeiro, they have this cute little sample size kit, or I would say a travel size kit of their new Beha floor. Now this is their newest scent. And they call it the Jet Set because it's like a travel kit. And it comes with the body wash. You get a even smaller size cream. And you also get a travel size body spray. And this is, yeah, it just says perfume mist. So I don't think this is for hair. I don't know. But this also smells good, you guys. I'm gonna smell the cream so I can remind myself of this scent because I tried not to use any of this until I did this video. So let's see how this smells. Ooh, this smells good. This smells good, but it ain't 40, okay? <laughs> I'm telling the truth, it is not 40. So the notes on this one is pink dragon fruit, leche essence, definitely getting the leche vibes. 
The mid note is Brazilian Jasmine Ocean Air Hibiscus and the dry down is Sheer Vanilla and Sun Musk. So I definitely like the dry down more on this than the initial smell, but I definitely love this. Would I get the big bottle of this? Not too sure because I'm just like stuck on number 40, but it's cute. It was 30 bucks and let me tell you guys, I do this every time. So I got this, um, with a, I did a same day delivery for this and some other stuff. And I, you check when you guys, cause I do this so much. I will accidentally put quantity of two. So y'all, I have two of these and I, I, it just takes me forever to get back to the store and return stuff. So I'm thinking you guys about doing a giveaway. So definitely let me know in the comments if you guys want a giveaway with this because I do have two. But I think this is cute. It's a great travel um, accessory. Or if you just want to try out this scent, love it, love it, love it. Okay. <clears throat> so another item that I got from for, for <laughs> another item that I got from Sephora that I really, really love because. I go through these waves, you guys. One minute, I want my curls in. I'm in love with my natural curls. And the next is just overwhelming. And now I'm in my phase with the fall. You definitely fast approaching. I want my hair curled, like straightened and then curled. I'm just in that vibe right now. So what I've been getting back into is this Flash Instant Shine Mask by Amika. And let me tell you guys, this is just so lovely. So when I lived on the East Coast, a little story, I used to go to the Dominican hair salons because as most of you guys may know, they do the best silk presses, like your hair just be flowing in the wind when you leave them and they're quick, you, they're quick as hell. You're not gonna be sitting there forever. And normally most of them are really inexpensive. So basically they just leave your hair with this nice shine and they have what they call a cellophane treatment at the Dominican salons. And basically it's like a glaze that they put over your hair and it just gives it this shine. Well, of course, I used to have this web and it's easy to apply. Some of them come with color or you could do clear and it just leaves your hair just glossy. So I used to go to a website that would sell the cellophane and I could do it myself at home, but that website closed. And since then I haven't really looked into getting the product, the hair product. So when I came across this, this is really the same exact thing. And it is super easy to apply to your hair. You literally shampoo your hair. I'll do my deep conditioner and then I'll apply this and you literally just soak your hair in this. You leave it on for five minutes and you guys are going to have a natural shine. So I don't know if you guys can see, but your girl's hair is nice and glossy naturally without having to put a whole bunch of like um, serums and stuff on my hair. And it's all because of this. And this, um, I don't know how often you should use this because it doesn't say, but it says that it um, is an acting treatment mask that instantly seals, softens, and hydrates hair. It has amino acids and UV filters, which keeps your color vibrant. So for my girls that have color in their hair, me, I do dye my hair black. This is going to keep that color looking vibrant. And it says it gives Mains a silky finish in a minute. It's the boss of gloss. Your girl has been trying to get into new perfumes. I'm tired y'all of buying these typical perfumes that everybody else has. I'm just tired. Like I love Kayali down, but everybody has Kayali. Um, what's another one that I had just purchased where it's like, and like the whole um, MFK Baccarat, like love it, but I just want to get into some new perfumes. So what I've been doing is semi-blind buying my perfumes. So I'll go into like Sephora and I know you guys are like, well, first of all, you buying perfume in Sephora. What do you expect? Everyone shops at Sephora, but I'm buying like these random perfumes that I've never heard of the brands before just so that I could just be wearing something different that I don't feel like everybody has. Like when you walk around with Baccarat on, most people are gonna know what it is without you even saying, I'm, I'm just tired of it, okay? 
So I went to Sephora, I got these scents, and one of them is a typical scent, I, I do have to say, but two of them are a little different, and I don't feel like you guys may have even heard of these brands before or these scents from these brands, so I'm excited to share with you guys because I sprayed them in Sephora, and um, I was like, please let these work for me because I initially really liked the scent of them, and they do. They're great, they last long, and it just it's just refreshing to finally find some new perfumes that I love and that I never even heard of. So, the, and like I tell you guys, I buy these in the travel sizes because I like to just wear the perfume for a few months, make sure that it goes with my chemistry, make sure that I really like it because these perfumes are pricey before I invest in a huge bottle. I wanna make sure that I'm grabbing for the smaller version frequently so that I know, okay, if I buy and invest in the big bottle, I'm gonna frequently use it. And keep, keep in mind that these are perfect fall scents. Sorry if you guys hear a helicopter, I'ma keep going. But these are the perfect fall scents. So the first one is by, and I'ma chop and screw this up as usual, you guys, it's by Fleur and it's called Missing Person. Let me show you guys. And you guys, this smells so good. So if you go into Sephora, this brand probably has about four or five different scents. And I went through a couple, and when I got to this one, I'm like, this is it, this is it. And of course, I don't have the notes. So let me pull that up. A delicate yet addictive fragrance, it's addicting you guys, that evokes the lingering scent of your lover's skin. Brought to life by comforting a course of white must, definitely smell that. So if you guys are not a fan of white must, you can definitely smell that in this one. Enhanced by sheer floral nuances of jasmine and glowing orange blossom and fused with a light trail of soft transparent woods. Very sensual. Missing, <clears throat> missing person is pure, provocative, and undeniably familiar. And so the notes are, the top is skin musk, bergamot nectar, sheer jasmine. The heart, which is middle, is fresh, cyclamen, narali blossom, orange flower, and the base is sandalwood, Australia oil, blonde wood, white musk. And this is so good, you guys. And someone said, for me, it's reminiscent of the harmonious feeling you get when you emerge out of a bath. I can feel that so relaxed and yet invigorated all at the same time with the scent of fresh, clean skin glistening with supple softness taking over your senses. Yeah, so this is definitely one of those when you first get out the shower, you about to be out and about and you just want that fresh sour fresh shower scent to linger as you're going out and just you know that scent when you just smell somebody and it smells like they just use a really good perfume that lasted for days i sprayed this all over one of my jackets or sweaters in new york and i could just ugh, it just smells so good it's one of those familiar just nostalgic fresh scents that just like you spray it on and it just lasts and lasts and lasts and you just smell fresh continuously. Ooh, and it just has this like sexy smell. Like it's definitely a unisex perfume and it just like, ugh, I can't even, like you know your crush, I'm taking it back y'all, you know your crush in high school, that like scent that you'll never forget because that boy or girl like smelled like that. Please let me know if I'm making sense. <laughs> That's what this smells like. Like you're when you put this on and someone hugs you and they're around you for a few hours, they're not gonna get over this scent. I hope that was descriptive. Big helicopter just flying, interrupting my video. I live by a park, you guys, and by a sheriff's uh, police station and they fly up, they land their helicopter in the park behind my backyard fly up and then like every Sunday they're doing training. So I picked the perfect time to film. But anyway, you guys, so the next perfume that I ordered, I didn't get this one from New York, but um, I did a second order when I got back. And again, I'm probably about to chop and screw this name, but it's Net, Net, Nette? 
<laughs> Woo! And it's called the vanilla, vanilla, the vanilla. Um, yeah. So anyway, you guys, if you don't know, I am super in love with anything vanilla scented. And as soon as I saw this, this was definitely a blind buy because I did not even have the chance to smell it because I did a same day, um, order. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. You guys, I am definitely, your girl is getting into her grown and sexy scents. I thought I knew what my favorite scents were and how I wanted to smell, but now that your girl is in her mid thirties, I just feel like the scents that I'm going for are like, yeah, like these are grown and sexy and they just smell so freaking unique. So when you first initially smell this, you, it takes a minute for you to understand why it's called the vanilla, um, because it definitely does not give off that vibe. It just, oh my gosh. Let me pull up the notes on this one. Um, what is this net? And what's funny is when I went, when I ordered this, I did not know, but this is actually a scent, you guys, that I have been, that's been on my Google like web browser forever because the bottle is gorgeous. I'll leave it here, but the full size bottle is just gorgeous. And I've been eyeing it and eyeing it and I just haven't took the plunge. So when I got this small one, I didn't even know that that was the one, duh, that I have been eyeing. So let's go over the notes. So, Okay, so the top is Salt Accord, Cardamom, LMR, Turmeric Root, LMR, and Mate Extract. The mid is Narcissus Absolute French. I don't know what LMR means, you guys. I'll have to look that up. Magnolia Flower, and the base is Oris and Vanilla. And... Yeah, so it says vanilla, green tea, and salt. And this just smells amazing, you guys. Again, it's one of those just grown and sexy scents. Um, it says meticulously and cleanly formulated to lift confidence, mindfulness, and relaxation using premium traceable perfume ingredients. And that's what I like about these two perfume brands is that they try they include clean um ingredients because as i'm learning a lot of these like perfumes especially these real popular ones they use a lot of toxic ingredients and i'm your girl is trying to do better i'm trying to eat better and i'm trying to be more conscious of like the products that i'm buying and what type of ingredients they include but yeah so the full this was 30 bucks you guys and the full size is 120 and i think i'm definitely going to invest in this one in the full size because this is great it's like a grown and sexy vanilla scent and it just again smells so different and it's unique so again i'm leaving all of these scents down below you guys are going to love them okay so the next one now this is from a popular brand you guys but i do love this brand and it's replica and i did like order one of those like um discovery sets where they had all the replica scents and this one was a memorable scent that i did want to repurchase in this bubble bath and i like this one because it says that i guess with replica they try to come up with scents that remind you of like something familiar so this one is bubble bath and it's from beverly hills and the fragrance description is comforting clean accords and the style description is memory in a fragrance so again really really love this one this is another fresh straight out of the shower scent and this is how it looks very tiny bottle i'll probably go through this quickly and again another grown and sexy <sighs> fresh scent i just i can't get enough you guys i feel like your girl your girl did her thing this time when it came to buying these perfumes because i'm not disappointed in any of these so replica bubble bath let's get the notes they they go into detail so there's coconut milk in this there's rose super essence and there's soap bubbles accord. Wow. 
Again, you guys, for whatever reason, I sprayed it on this wrist. White musk is like my thing right now, <laughs> as you all can see. So definitely love that one. Now, this last one I did not recently get, but I have not really wore it. And all of a sudden, I'm getting into it. And this is a scent by Deep Teak, and it's called Lou Pepier. <laughs> I believe that's how you pronounce it, but this is like one of their most recent scents that they came out with during the summertime, and I have not shared this with you guys. This is a skin scent for sure. So a skin scent is basically like a more subtle scent. It's not overpowering, and the notes that they like to use in skin scented um, perfumes, they just go better with the natural chemistry of your skin. And so I have really been loving that. I feel like the Fleur Missing Person and the, um, no, I feel like the Fleur Missing Person is another like more of a skin scent, but this just smells so different, you guys. So I particularly got this one and I wanna make sure that I got it right because there is a scent in here that I just fell in love with. The scent on this is rice, yes. So blonde wood and rice steam. And this perfume, you could really smell that rice, hot rice steam, but in a like perfumey way, if that makes sense. And again, I'm telling y'all, I'm getting into, this has white musk. <laughs> Your girl is in her white musk era, so. It says, deep dive into the essence of white musk and all their myriad facets, faucets, a luminous mimosa plus a chorus of blonde wood and rice steam. So this has a very unique scent, you guys, but again, it's a subtle scent. It smells great, but you definitely get that rice aroma. So I would highly recommend that you go into store and smell this. I did purchase this at Nordstrom's but it, it just smells great. It, it just, it, it gives me the vibes, okay? So I wanted to show you guys this one because if you're looking for like a very subtle scent, but a, like a fresh musk with that little oomph of the rice steam, this is your girl. You know, I'm really into more different scents now. I'm trying to get out of that what everybody else is wearing. So I think that's a really a different one and it's subtle to wear. You know, if you want to be that girl that smells fresh, but not like when you walk in the room, everyone smells you, that's the one. Next product I got, I've told you guys about this makeup line. Lady Gaga came out with her own makeup line and everything that I have purchased thus far, your girl has been loving. So the next, I think I got her lip, her lipstick, the lip um, lacquer, which I'm wearing right now, foundation, which I'm wearing right now. Lady Gaga has been doing her thing with this line. So when I was in New York at the Sephora, I came across this highlighter. This is a Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. And look at the packaging, you guys. It's like that chrome, like pretty pearlescent color shade going on. And I love it. But look at this highlighter, you guys, and this camera. It's not even doing it justice. It's like this pretty peach, pearly um, color. I'm not wearing it today because I didn't want to mess it up. And this is in the, the shade Fire Opal. And it's just beautiful, you guys. Oh, I love it. So yeah, her products are a little pricey, I must say, but they are worth it. Like the pigment, they are so pigmented. The, tran the color transfer, everything is just a plus. Now, I have not purchased any blush from her, but that's next because everything has just been amazing. So this is definitely a pretty color. I think this is a great shade for the summer and fall. And with my highlighters, I do like to put a little on the tip of my nose, but being that this is a pinky color, I'll probably just, you know, apply it on the cheekbones and whatnot, but love this you guys and she has an array of shades so definitely check out Haas Labs, Haas Labs and I will leave um this particular highlighter in the um in the description box okay I think we are com we are done with the Sephora haul you guys so the next couple of items all came from Tarjay you know I gotta definitely do some good 
fall body care shopping at Target, okay? So we're gonna go ahead first and just quickly get into this product. So your girl has been making sure that she is shaved down. And definitely when it comes to my bikini line and stuff, I just want to make sure that I'm like doing post care after shaving and everything like that. So there's a razor called the pubic hair and skin or something razor by, um, let me make sure I got it right. Cause this is the brand. Who is this by? I believe Gillette. Yeah. Gillette. Okay. And that razor is amazing. So what I didn't know was that they came out with this pubic hair and skin type serum. And it says use daily as a soothing moisturizer to help reduce itch, exfoliates to help reduce ingrowns. And your girl needs this because y'all know that when it comes to shaving the bikini line, that area and the hair starts growing back, child. <laughs> yeah, y'all know. So... I definitely wanted to get this. This was, I believe, $12.99, and it just says a little goes a long way. You, you just rub this into your skin, and bam, this is supposed to help with ingrown hairs and all of that and itchiness. So I'm, like, super excited to use this because I'm, like, there has to be something out here. So, yes, this is not really a fall thing, but I wanted to, you know, throw that in here because... For any of my girls that's been looking for some type of relief so we'll see how this works but yeah definitely check this out and the um razor that goes with this as well and i'll link them both below what i'm noticing is that tree hut has come out with the new packaging which i didn't know but the first scent is cinnamon dulce and i love me a good cinnamon dulce latte from starbucks and so when I saw this immediately, I didn't even need to smell it. I'm like, this is definitely a scent that's coming with me. And this is the foam and gel wash. And this has ginger extract, sugarcane extract, and shea butter. And it says, an autumn treat that's sure to be delicious. Our foamy gel wash is made with ginger extract to protect and soothe skin and sugarcane extract to deeply condition and smooth the body and it also has avocado kiwi and orange oils in it so this should be a nice moisturizing body wash and of course if i'm going to get the body wash i'm definitely going to get body scrub and again this has the same ingredients as the body wash and let's smell this Whew. oh my gosh you guys this is screaming this is screaming you guys a fall it's not even funny. Oh, this smells so good. I'm going to have fun using this one. I know this is going to leave my skin super duper soft and just silky overall. Love this. So, um, yeah, this is a good one, you guys. And this does say limited edition. So I would definitely highly recommend y'all go ahead and cop that. But what I am no longer doing, which I think I mentioned this before, and I went against what I said was I'm no longer buying any of Tree Hut's products from um, Ulta because Ulta's, their scrubs are like, I want to say $3 more than they are at Target, and Target carries all of these scrubs. So <laughs> never doing that anymore. You know, I would rather just order on Target.com if they don't have it in store because, yeah, Ulta is tripping. The next scrub that I got from Tree Hut, which is a new one, is called Moonlight Glow. And you guys, this one right here just is so pretty. It's in this, it's this purple color. And I am super excited. And of course, because I did do a curbside pickup, they covered the top. So I can't even read the description to you guys. But this is my first time smelling it. So let's see. Whoa. You know what this smells like, you guys? Like a, almost like a purple jelly bean. <laughs> to, to keep it simple, a purple jelly bean. It's a very sweet smell, smells like candy. I would say a purple jelly bean, if that's a good description. So this smells great, but I do wanna pull up the notes on this. Let's, first of all, it says that, uh, come on. So this sugar scrub is made with obviously sugar, shea butter, um, snow, mushroom, magnesium, amethyst powder, and, a, and, a, 
and an array of natural oils like evening primrose, avocado, macadamia, sweet almond, saf safflower, and orange oil. So leave skin feeling good and smelling delicious. So, ooh, I'm excited to use this one, you guys. So, yeah, this smells really, really good, you guys. It says you'll glow, deeply nourish and balance skin. And, yeah, so, and this has... Fruity notes of cassis and raspberry grounded by a relaxing base of amber, but I'm just really getting a very sweet candy smell. And of course that may change as I use the product, but it smells really, really good, you guys, really good. Mmm, my teeth. Okay, so the next newest one that I got that I have not seen. It's almost like I seen it, but I didn't. I feel like this is new from it. This is new because this is like the main scent that's on their website right now. And this is the Tropical Mango. And this, you guys, just smells super, super. First of all, I haven't even smelled it. So what am I talking about? But um, it says mango extract and shea butter. And again, I have not smelled this one. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, this smells good. Definitely tropical mango all day. That's how it looks. And yes, now this one, I was a little shocked that they came out with this one right now because I would have thought that they would have came out with this during the summertime just because to me, this is a summer scent. But hey, I'm here for it when Tree Hut drops their new scents. I'm gonna pick it up if I like it. I didn't smell this one but I just knew I would like it because it's tropical mango, but this is definitely giving summer vibes. So this will probably be the first one that I use up because I don't see myself using this into the fall and the um, winter time, but it definitely smells good. If you guys don't mind like that tropical scent through the, co the colder months, but me, I like to give respect to my seasons. And, you know, that's why I was telling you guys in the last video, I was trying to get rid of all my summer scents because I like to kind of just be in the moment of the season. So, yeah, this one will be used up immediately. Now, um, in my last video, I told you guys I didn't get the iced coffee scrub because your girl has a whole brand new bar, um, brand new container of the velvet coffee and i just recently got this one and this one smells amazing and it's definitely given the same vibes as iced coffee so if you guys can't get your hands on that new iced coffee and you see velvet coffee anywhere go ahead and pick it up because this smells just as good as that one this one might even smell better and uh Ooh, that smells good you guys that really just smells like and this is like gonna be my morning scrub like when I just want a boost of energy and to wake up without coffee immediately this is definitely that girl really love this if you are a fan of that fresh brewed coffee scent and the last item I already showed you guys this but if you did not watch my last haul video I wanted to share it again because it is a part of their limited edition collection and that's the apple macchiato one and i'm gonna smell this one again you guys to give my final thoughts but this is just not giving apple vibes to me at all i'm not even sure why they named it apple macchiato it's definitely giving me fall <laughs> in a container for sure it's giving like spice like a pumpkin spice that's what they should have called this like a like a pumpkin cinnamon spice rather than apple macchiato but again this is definitely a great fall scent when you want to get into those fall vibes so yes your girl got a bunch of tree hut scrubs that i got to go through but i am loving it you guys i'm loving that we are now headed into fall summer is dying out and fall is like my favorite time because like I love to go to Starbucks and get all of the fall drinks. So if you are not following your girl on social media, I'm leaving my handle here, especially on my Instagram. Your girl is on and off with TikTok, but especially on Instagram because I share all of my little secret menu fall Starbucks drinks with you guys. And I do a lot of like more content. So like, even though I haven't been as, um, 
active here on YouTube, I'm still active on my other social media. So definitely make sure that you're following your girl there. I love you guys. I'm definitely going to be bringing you guys the content. Summer's over. It's time to get on that Zoom, which I am doing. So I appreciate all my girls, guys that have hung around. I'm definitely back. And I do want to introduce you guys to a new segment. I know at the end of all my videos, I give like a motivational quote, like at the end, it's like a picture or something, but more engaging and just more personal if I do it here on camera, rather than just include like a picture with some words on it if that makes sense. So I'm going to start that with this first video. So hold on. So this quote I found and I really feel like it speaks to me. And the quote says, God will meet you where you are in order to take you where he wants you to go. Tony Evans. And I really feel like that speaks volumes to me right now because no matter where you are in your life, whether you're high or you're low, once you open up to God and allow him to come into your life and he can see that your heart is pure, it doesn't matter where you are in your life, he's going to put his hand on your life and guide you where it needs to go. And that's why your girl has been absent because I've been really allowing God to take over in my life and show me things that need to go things that can stay, things like what path I should be headed on, what I should be doing with my life. No matter what, no matter where you are, when you open up and you pray and God sees that you really want to invite him into your life, you will see the difference. And I can say just within a few months, I can just see the difference when you really let go and let God in. So I hope that motivated somebody today and that you, if you haven't allowed God into your life, that you do that today and you're pure with it and you will see girl or guy how he takes over for the better. So anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love all of you guys. There goes my camera yet again overheating because your girl be talking. But if you are new here and got all the way to the end of this video, I love you, love you, love you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, let's chit chat in the comments as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.